Okay, I'm gonna make a do-it-yourself brine shrimp hatchery. Uh, I got this from Nick at Keeping Fish Simple on his YouTube channel. He posted it, it's been a couple years, so I don't think he'll mind. I don't think, I think he borrowed it from somebody else and they didn't mind, so I'm gonna give it a shot too. So I'm starting with a one liter water bottle and you wanna get one with, with a tapered neck and longer threads. Uh, there are water bottles with shorter threads and they don't work because these CO2 air caps don't have enough threads to hold on to. Uh, these come, there's a little O-ring inside. These little uh, caps come off here and that way you can slide, let me get this all the way off. You can slide this cap down a piece of air tubing. The air tubing goes on this little nipple. This goes back on with the air tubing inside and that clamps down the air tubing for leaks and, and, and air, uh, so it doesn't, so it works anyway. Uh, and I got those from a vendor on eBay. I got four of them from a vendor on eBay. Um, and I, you know, they may or may not come quickly. I think they came from China, so it may take a month, but I think I got mine in about two and a half weeks. It just depends. You want a check valve and you want to make sure the check valve is going the right direction when you install it. And this will come from the air pump or the air supply, your air valves, to uh, one of the inlets on this. Either one works, doesn't matter. Uh, and if you can't tell, blow on one end. If no air is going through, then uh, you want to turn around, blow the other end, and that would be the end you want to uh, uh, hook your air supply to. I've got about a foot of a vinyl clad uh, electrical wire, um, coppers, I don't know if it's any more salt water resistant or not, but then, uh, uh, and I'll, I'll show you how I bend it. And I've got a little valve here a little uh, uh, one-way valve uh, for uh, uh, to control the the brine shrimp coming out of the uh, the bottle, and then I've got some black uh, the vinyl tubing and some clear tubing. Uh, I like to use the clear tubing coming out of the bottle with the brine shrimp, so I can actually see what's happening. The black line goes, you know, from the air supply, so I know air is coming through if I see bubbles and a pair of, uh, uh, I'm using needle nose pliers. They'll, they'll cut the wire if I needed to, uh, but this is about the right length, but I can bend a really nice tight little loop. And ultimately what we're gonna end up with is something like this. There's holds about a liter of water and I just put a bunch of eggs in it this morning. I use one tablespoon of non-iodized uh, table salt. Okay, just non-iodized. I've seen other people or and other recommendations. I bought some brine shrimp. They're talking about kosher salt and marine salt and all this and really complicated. And what I saw from Nick was one tablespoon per liter of non-iodized salt and a scoop of brine shrimp eggs. And it's worked every time and I've been doing this for a couple months now. And you can see how I've got the piece of electrical wire going over a hook. Uh, and I bend up uh, that electrical wire on the bottom, I drilled two holes opposite one another in the top of the, well actually was the bottom of this bottle, uh, screwed on the CO2 cap, and one line, the one curving up to the right, is going up and over and back up and over and around to my air valves, okay, and I can control the airflow. Uh, if the bubbles are too big, it blew all, it blows all the, the brine shrimp eggs up to the sides. So I find myself shaking it a little bit to get them back into the water or uh, uh, using an eyedropper or something, pick up water and, and shoot it around the sides to wash them all in. Eventually they stay there, they hatch, and then just the empty cysts are floating. So right now it's all eggs because they've only been in this, this brine solution for, I don't know, maybe two hours now. And, and by tomorrow they'll be hatched out. Uh, and they're good for a couple days like this, and then they start to fail. I have yet to figure out how to grow up uh, brine shrimp to a bigger size. I've seen other videos, but I, I haven't mastered it yet. I'll work on it. So anyway, I've got the air supply. is just kind of a low bubble, all right? And then it comes back down into this, this line, and there's the little valve I'm using. I got this uh, courtesy of Brandon at Coachella Valley Aquatics. Um, and I follow this line on down just to an open end. And this will go into a one liter measuring cup. And when I'm ready to harvest, I, uh, I've got a little, a little book light. 
and that's what I'm using, one of these little book lights, and I'll turn that on. I'll clip it to uh, clip it to my the bottom here and turn this on and shut the air supply off and all the uh, the brine shrimp will settle down towards the bottom the empty sits up towards the top and after about 20 minutes or so I'll just drain the whole lot right down into uh, that that one liter measuring cup and then also what I found is a bunch of brine shrimp get stuck down in the bottom of the cap because let's see if we can show you this here how deep those little uh, uh, inlets are so what I do is I just stick my hand in there with uh, uh, a little uh, um, a little pipette like this and suck them out of there and put them into the supplier to shoot them straight into a tank and I do that till they're pretty much all gone I figure you know why not why waste them so anyway, I'll put one of these together and show I already did. You can see that. So I'm going to let you go with that. And I will post this to YouTube. Any questions, comments, whatever, let me know. This is Ron at Garage Aquatics 2023. Thanks for looking.